Welcome back guys. So now we will start to uh, add our list element and here again same thing you choose the layer or the data that will be associated with and of course it got all the data because the data we have is per county but what we want to do is we want to make this just the states so we can come here and say I want to show the maximum so you can show all of them let's say 50 because we're gonna sort them by the state and we're going to add another sort that will be the deaths. And here we can add the deaths here. So by deaths and then uh, the state. So this uh, d depends on the data you have. Um, it's up to you how you want to choose the data to show up right here. Uh, but also you can add a different one. You can add here uh, based on the county and that will sort them death states county uh, based on the results we have so here we can also change sort ascending and descending um, so you can have california arizona and all the numbers for the states uh, based on the value of the death uh, uh, in inside this state so here we have a list you can customize this one to customize the list so here we show the state and um, here we have the data as, w as I said and here we have the state and what we can do is we can do it looks like that so we can customize what show up in the list like this so we can say for example the state name and at the bottom here we say this is is and we can click on this item here to choose another field to add it to where we add so here we will add this is and we will show that you can customize it you can say here this and active or confirmed and confirmed like that comma and confirmed is and you will add the uh, confirmed value column here uh, you can also customize this completely HTML so you can add URLs, you can add links, you can add change how uh, everything here can look like so you can customize it to make it something similar to this or even if you want to add pictures you can add uh, you can add multiple things if you want to add if you customize this one as HTML what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna make the color text color like a little bit red on the red side or let's make it white as it was uh, background color you can change it to something else you can change the separator color you can change selection color uh, or selection text color so that's for the formatting for how the list look like this is very important to know because you can customize your list items to look the way you want exactly like how we have it or any way you want it you can design it the way you want you type what you want and if you want to get a specific value from the attributes you click on this icon here to add your attribute you can make it centered you can make it aligned to the right you can make it the way you want you can customize it uh, here there's so many customizations you can do it's completely up to you how you want it to do it this one we can make it bold so it show the state as a bold number and uh, you can uh, add uh, like an icon icon you can add a symbol you can um, make no icons it's it's up to you how you want to design it here we have the general this is the name for the list we have the title with description the same uh, things so if you want to add the title like this one and the description so we can actually do this and we can come here and say this is a title edit and also it's a html so you can customize it however you want and here we can put it in the middle and we can change this one color to red uh oh why uh oh yeah here we go death and for description we can add by state and comma death is and confirmed cases and we can just save that so that will be the description for what this list does you can customize this and put it also underneath it it's 
up to you how you want it to look like you can design it like that or you can design it the way you want again this is an html so you can uh, design it the way you want actions here this is actions same as uh, all the other things so here i want when i click on any one of them i want to filter it on the gauge on the indicator or this and this indicator and this serial chart i want to filter all the data based on which one i select you can also zoom to one of them and the zoom also will only work on the map so each action here uh, give you the options for what you can work on and uh, this one when i click on a certain uh, value it will zoom to this location on the map and then you click done it will be on the left side here i will keep it on the left side and now uh, if we save this we will see that when we click on one of them it will zoom to it and it will filter all the other data based on this one and if you select another one it will zoom to this location and it will filter all the other data based on this one if you want to unselect and show everything you unselect it here and it will show everything for you if you click on the map it will uh, open the pop-up window for you and this is the actions that i was telling you is like when you do some action on an element how you want the other elements to be affected same thing here uh, when we click on a state it will show you this state and highlight it for you if you like uh, click on another one it will filter the map for you and do all these things if you want to unselect something you click on it and that's unselecting it and it will, it will bring everything back to normal so that's the list how you can configure it now we are getting very close to how it looks like here i don't have the same exact data that you are they are using but i have one similar data for the us to show the total cases and the total deaths and we confirm it they are the same values again you can customize how this selection color looks like by go to the configuration and go to the general and for uh, the list here we have the selection color you can change that so for example we can make this one um, green and if I said done that's will what will be my color again it's up to you how you want to design it but this is how can you configure your element the next element in this video we will talk about is the table and this is basically just a attribute table that will show you the data that uh, you are connected to so here we will we can show uh, like uh, like to make this table show exactly a certain field we will show the state and the value fields will be uh, the death cases and we can add the confirmed and any other value you want to add let's say here this is active county state combined indicate rate we can have that too so this is we designed the table the way we want and we can sort it by uh, the death case so here which will show we can make it ascending or descending so we can show the higher uh, death cases to the lowest one and here you have the table design you can design it you make it make it small you can make it large you can make it medium again this is completely up to you how you want to design your text color background color and all this uh, if you want to add a header how you want it to look like uh, this header right here how you want to change the colors for it uh, so for example this is you can change uh, this name here this is times hundred thousand for example because this is uh, the hundred thousand like two hundred and fifty five thousand so that's the number of the cases there confirmed indicate rate you can change that for the values you can define how you want them to look like so here we can make the text color red for the death and for the background you can change it you can change any this is just basically uh, all about the coloring and how your table looks like here you can add a summary make it visible and here to this is the summary this is the total for all the numbers that is showing and we don't need to show that you can also customize the colors and the background for it and the thickness for this values at the bottom and the label will be here total for example and you can customize this one as well general will be the same thing as any other element the name the title description text color background color actions you can also do the same exact exact thing is like when you click on one of them it will f show it on the map filter the serial chart the list and all these things can be filtered and selected for you if you wanted to pan to it you can click here if you wanted to zoom same 
thing or you can flash it on the map so this is the actions so when you define what gonna happen when I click on certain item here let's click done and now we have it right here we can drag this item and put it underneath this one and it's gonna take a lot of spaces so we can do this and we make the map bigger and this one here so we can make the map smaller I think that's good yeah so again it's up to you how you want to design it maybe you don't even need the table like here for example we don't have the table we don't have the pie chart we don't have the gadge we have only the indicator a serial chart and the list and the map and that's it and we have the header as well so this is something similar to what I just showed you uh, the second or the last element here will be the details and here you can just add and this is will show you like the attributes for each one and here you say the maximum features displayed 50 uh, that's the maximum if you want to show you want to sort by let's say by the state descending and here we have uh, or let's make it ascending because it starts from the A to the Z and here details you can show the title count co contents media attachments inside of here you have the general same exact things uh, as you show right here there's no actions here but you can filter what show up here based on the selection from another control so if we selected a specific control on the list we can come here and configure this one and say when I select one here single I want you to filter and you'll see that now you have the details so the, the, the good practice is is to design your website as or your dashboard add, add all the elements you want and then configure all the actions because you don't want to configure an action and then you forget to configure it for something else because you didn't add the element yet so the best practice is to add all the elements and then configure the actions for your uh, website or your dashboard here we're gonna save and now uh, anytime you select one it will filter all the other ones based on the selection Oh, my apologies it's the opposite it's like when I select this one it will filter everything including this one as well and when I click this one it will filter everything because I defined the action for this one to filter all the other data and zoom to the map as well to unselect you unselect here so now let's make it look a little bit better I can actually put drag this and put it underneath that we don't need all this space for the list and we can make it like this and here we go so this is all the elements we have we covered the list the table and the details uh, for the other elements it just uh, uh, you add text you can add an HTML text you can customize it however you want you can add images you can add text you can add uh, URL you can embed some uh, items in the next control we will see how to do that but here I'll si say hi this is my text element and I can just say OK and it will go again in the same location but I can just put it on the top here on top of everything and just put it all the way up like that so uh, again this is completely up to you how you want to design it there's no specific way to design it it's uh, it's up to you how you want it and again when we configured the actions here we configured the actions on the table to work on certain things so now we have the text we have um, like uh, we covered the text we covered the table and the last one is embedded content and this you can add a video or image or document so we can add an image for example URL image for our ArcGIS mastery logo so open this here let's copy this URL and say I wanna put this one as an image I'll say done it will go as big as here also but I want to put it just right here and just small one right here not so big and that's good yep so now let's remove the selection where did we select we click here again so we remove the selection and bring our website back to normal let's make sure we save and now we covered all the elements we have <clears throat> on dashboard and it looks very similar to uh, how we have it right here 
as you saw it didn't take more than an hour or a couple hours to configure all these things I think what will take you time to do is how you want the colors and the font and what values to have and how to show and represent your data this is gonna be mainly the main thing you will spend most of the time on uh, and as you saw like for every single element when we go to the configuration we have the data where we connect it to data we configure what data to show and how to show it and how to filter it and here the rest is all about how to customize the look of it how to customize the colors and how to customize the actions for this control the difference here from uh, a dashboard to ArcGIS experience builder or uh, web app builder is there is no publishing you're not publishing it is the moment you save it is like that's it you saved it you can save and save as and once you save it now it can be used uh, separately as a URL so in the next video I will show you how can you customize this dashboard as an item in the content and how can you share this dashboard with you with users so they can see it and uh, use it same way as we can use this one so thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video